Hi, my name's Mark, I'm from GCO Cheetah. And this week with Practical Machinist, we're gonna take a look at absolute first incremental positioning on our CNC machine. So we're going back to basics on a subject that often confuses people just when they're starting out with their G-code programming. So before we start, we need to discuss this guy. This is our datum symbol. So every time we see this, this means this is where our datum is on our part. So it's our X0, Y0, Z0 position. It's where all our dimensions run from. I find the easiest way to explain absolute versus incremental is like this. So we start off with our tool on our datum position. And if we were to move it 100 millimeters, we could represent it like this. And we're gonna call this position A. So now our cut is at position A. So to move to position B, we would need to give a dimension from the datum position to position B if we're in absolute mode. So our first move was 100 millimeters from the datum to the tool. And then to move the tool a further 100 millimeters away from the datum, we would give a position of 200 millimeters. This is because all dimensions in absolute come from the datum position. So that's absolute. But if we're in incremental, we would move it only 100 millimeters. This is because all dimensions in incremental come from the last known position of the tool. So in absolute, all dimensions come from the datum position, and in incremental, all positions come from the last known position of the tool. So one way to envision this is if we're using incremental positioning, we can say that the datum shifts to the tool position every time we move the tool. So it's like everything resets. Our X and Y and Z positions all become zero as soon as we move the tool. So the tool is now the new datum position. Whereas in absolute positioning, all dimensions run from the datum and the datum doesn't move. It stays as a fixed point. So with absolute, to put the machine into absolute mode, we use the G code G90. And if we look at this diagram here, we're gonna assume our datum position is where the cutter currently is. So with absolute, all dimensions are taken from the datum and the datum doesn't float. So if we were to move our cutter over to this point here, we would move the cutter 80 millimeters in the X axis. Now to move it over to this point here, we would move the cutter a further 20 millimeters, but the dimensions we would give the machine is 100 millimeters because the measurement is running from the datum position. So if we give the machine the G-code G91, it would put it into the incremental positioning system. And when we're in this system, all dimensions are taken from the last known position of the cutter. So if we were to machine this part here, it would be like moving our datum every time we move the cutter as all the positions will come from that datum. So if we use the same example as we used when discussing absolute, and we put our cutter on the bottom left datum position here, and we wish to move our cutter to the next position, so we would move 80 millimeters to the right in X, so our cutter ends up here. And if we're in incremental, we would still state it's an 80 millimeter movement from that datum. So if we're working in G91 incremental, the machine now takes this position as its X0, Y0, Z0 position. So our next movement, moving a further 20 millimeters to the right, we would only tell the machine that we wish to move 20 millimeters and not 100. So the way I always remember it is the G90 absolute measuring system, all dimensions run from the datum, and the G91 incremental measuring system, all dimensions run from the last known position of the cutter. So this is how it would look within a program. You can see highlighted at the top there, the G90 is on the safety line next to the G21. Now we can put this anywhere. I always select either absolute or incremental on the safety line. And then if I wish to change it further down the program, we can. We simply state G90 or G91 to switch between the two. And as you can see from this slide, G91, our incremental, looks quite a lot different when we're programming incremental than it does in absolute. So we must be very careful not to get these two confused as we are programming, especially if we're switching between the two. So we would quite often use both of these during the course of programming apart. Now I personally would tend to switch to incremental when using drilling cycles and drilling multiple holes. That way I only need to give one position, the position between each hole rather than the position from the machine datum. 
So that's a quick look at the differences between G90 Absolute and G91 Incremental positioning systems with our CNC machine.